first to correspondent CB Cotton with the latest. Hi, CB. Hi, Martha. Yeah, the clock is winding down, and while we wait to see what Trump's next steps are, it appears New York Attorney General Letitia James has laid some of the groundwork for asset seizure should Trump not come up with a bond for nearly half a billion dollars. Earlier this month, James formally registered the staggering judgment against Trump in Westchester County, New York, as you mentioned, which is home to the Trump National Golf Club Westchester and the Trump Organization's Seven Springs Estate. Right now, the registration doesn't mean too much, but it is a procedural step that would allow James to secure a lien against properties there in the future. But business law experts tell us James's first steps will likely be through Trump's bank accounts, stocks, and investment holdings, because seizing real estate is always far more challenging. You would not want to shut down operations by kicking out employees and such. And the property will be most valuable if it continues to operate. I think it would be more like placing a lien against the property so that if he ever tried to sell the property, the state would get its money before he got his money. Trump's legal team told the court more than 30 insurance companies have refused to accept real estate as collateral to underwrite a bond for the eye-popping total. In response, the attorney general's office provided a series of suggestions to secure the money to include a fire sale, but the Trump team has pushed back on all those ideas. Trump has asked the appeals court to accept a smaller bond while he appeals the $454 million judgment or allow him to not post a bond at all. Martha. All right, thank you very much, CB. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.